Hey, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about converting units in the metric system. Prior to the standardization of measurement units, different systems were used depending on where in the world you lived. Since everyone used a different system of measurement, sharing and collaboration was difficult. Today, however, scientists use an international system of measurement units based on the metric system. It's called the International System, or SI units. So what are we going to learn in this video? First, we'll learn the seven SI units. Then we'll learn how to use a metric conversion chart to convert units. Finally, we'll practice with a couple of example problems. There are seven SI units. For mass, we use the kilogram. Length, we use the meter. Time is the second. Temperature is the Kelvin. Electrical current is the ampere. Amount of substance is the mole. And luminous intensity is the candela. The SI units are not always the most convenient measurement. For example, it wouldn't be so convenient to express the width of a pencil in the SI unit of a meter. A meter is quite large compared to the pencil, so the metric system uses a base 10 conversion system to create more appropriate units that are geared towards the object being measured. So the width of a pencil in meters is 0 0.006 meters. That's six thousandth of a meter. It's a weird small number. However, the metric system is designed to express measurements in the most sensible way possible. For instance, a millimeter is a thousandth of a meter. Another way to put it is that there are a thousand millimeters in one meter. If we use millimeters to measure the pencil width, we can see that the pencil is six millimeters across. Six is much more convenient than 0 .006. The metric system is a decimal base prefix system. That is, a unit can be multiplied by a factor of 10 by just changing the prefix. You can use a chart like this one to keep track of the prefixes. Here in the middle, we have the base unit. Take the SI unit for length. The base unit is the meter. The base unit has a value of 1. Since there is no prefix, it hasn't been adjusted in any way yet. When you add on a prefix, the value is changed by a factor that's based on 10. So centi changes by a factor of 100, and kilo changes by a factor of 1000. Converting within the metric system is absolutely essential when studying or practicing science. There are a few different ways to convert, but we are going to learn the dimensional analysis system because it is the most powerful and transferable to other contexts. In dimensional analysis, the goal is to cancel out the unwanted unit and replace it with the desired unit. Let's use this problem to see how dimensional analysis works. A standard city block is about 200 meters. How long is a city block in kilometers? Dimensional analysis follows a set of steps. First, write the given measurement. Then, multiply the given measurement by a conversion factor that includes the given unit and the new unit. And then finally, write the converted measurement with the new unit. So, step one, write the given measurement. That's 200 meters. Step two, add the conversion factor. A conversion factor is a fraction that compares two units to each other. We are comparing the given unit, meters, to the new unit, kilometers. So how do those two units compare to each other? Let's check the chart and see how they relate. So the base unit, meter, is one, if one meter were converted to kilometers, it'd be 0 0.001. So it's a ratio of one meter to 0 0.001 kilometers. When we set up our fraction, we want the given unit to cancel. So it needs to be on the opposite side of the fraction compared to the given. The given is by itself, but that's the same thing as just being over one. So the given is always on top of a fraction. That means in our fraction, we want the given unit to be on the bottom, and then the new unit will be on the top. So it becomes 0 0.001 kilometers over one meter. We just got those numbers right from our chart. Okay, let's put this into our calculator. 200 times 0 0.001 over one is equal to 0 0.200. Zero zero. The old unit cancels and we are left with the new unit of kilometers. In this video, we learned the seven SI units and we learned how to convert within the metric system using dimensional analysis. Thanks for watching.